Hello everyone and welcome, Dawn here. Today I'll be making you this cute unicorn birthday card. I'm going to be using the new Slimline Cloud Die, the Unicorn Wishes stamp set, and the new Bokeh Bliss paper pack. So let's get started. This is a pretty simple card to make. I'm gonna start by die cutting the Slimline Clouds out. Then I'm going to cut the pattern paper in half and it will fit perfectly behind the clouds and you won't be able to see the seam at all. First I glue one half to the back of the cloud die, then I'll glue the other half down so the two seams meet in the middle of the cloud die. Then I will trim off any excess that is hanging off of the cloud panel. Then I attach it to a piece of cardstock that is cut to eight and a half by seven and I scored it at three and a half inches. Next I had stamped the images onto a piece of white cardstock using Copic Friendly ink. Now I'm going to color the unicorns in. I don't do anything special with the coloring. I just color the images how I like them. I will list the colors that I used for the unicorns in the description below. For the hooves of the unicorn, I colored them in with the C7 Cool Gray marker. For the horn of the unicorns, I colored them in using Y13 uh, Lemon Yellow. For the mane and the tail, I used three different colors. I kept changing back and forth between the BG32 Aqua Mint and the RV63 Begonia and the BV01 Viola. Next, I colored in the wings using Y13 Lemon Yellow and the Y08 Acid Yellow. For the body of the unicorns, I used my favorite color, which is the neutral gray number zero. This color is great when you really don't want to add any color, but you want to take away some of the stark white um, color of the paper, and you just want to add a little bit of shading to the card. I wanted to add some sparkle to the unicorns because, well, unicorns are magical. So I added some Wink of Stella to the unicorns horn, manes, tail and their wings. Then I cut the unicorns out. I usually fussy cut my images out, but I just got the Brothers Scan and Cut and I have to tell you it's the most amazing machine ever and is definitely worth it. I just thought I would mention that it makes cutting so much faster and easier. Once I decide where I want the unicorns to go, I then place my sentiments in the clouds where I want them. I place my card in the misty in case I have to double stamp the words. I remove the images because I don't need them anymore. I only use them for the placement of the words. Using black ink, I stamp the images. I put foam tape on the back of the unicorns and I attach them to the card. Next, I take the little butterfly images that came with the stamp set and I stamp three of them onto the card. Now when I stamped my last image, I got a smudge on my card. So I was trying to decide what to do with it. I didn't want to throw the card away. I was almost done at this point. So I decided to let it dry completely on the card. When trying to take a spot off, it's best to let it dry before you try to erase it. Otherwise it just doesn't erase well. So I continued on and colored in my butterflies. When I was done, I took my sand eraser and I started to rub off the spot. Sometimes it takes a while, you really have to rub it. I recommend not rubbing in the same direction all the time so the paper doesn't start to rip. Once I got the spot off, I like to take my creative detailer and smooth out the paper. It really works to leave it nice and smooth so you don't um, see where the spot was. That completes my card for today. I want to thank you for joining me on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to the Whimsy Stamps channel and their other social media platforms so you don't miss out on any upcoming releases and great videos. Also, check out their website for more great products. Thanks and have yourself a wonderful day.